What's gin without denim? Like, that, that just doesn't even fit. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for joining me this week. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, well, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, make sure you go over there and follow me over on Instagram, Jen Restyle Fashion. Um, then you see that I have been sharing with you some of my most recent upcycles. I've also been directing you guys to my Like to Know It page. I'm gonna put the QR code up here. Please be sure to follow me over there because as I am thrifting and styling, I am going to put those pieces or something similar on my Like to Know It so you can shop the look. So even as I have on this um, upcycle denim skirt, um, you'll see it over on the Like to Know It page, but I will link you to places where you can actually buy it because I know some of us are not sewing. Some of us are here for the fashion to kind of see how things get put together, maybe get a little inspiration. And so that's what the like to know it is. But also over on Instagram, I have been sharing with you some of my most recent upcycles as I am preparing for this upcoming show. And one of my, um, one of the things that I'm incorporating to the show is my tie design. So a few years ago, I did a tie skirt, a tie dress, a tie vest, just a bunch of different tie things. And I'm bringing those back into my new collection and I'm really excited about it. And I wanted to kind of show you guys how I put some of those things together. So the tutorials are over there, but I love denim. So I can't just stop at the fabrics and you know putting that stuff together. I have to get into denim. So I had to do some denim ties. I had to, I mean, What's gin without denim? Like, that, that just doesn't even fit. So I made this really cute denim tie. And um, I am, this video is going to show you how to make a denim tie. Now, there are a lot of different ways that you can do this. So I'm just giving inspiration. I know a lot of you all want to come back and say, hey, you know, wouldn't it have been easier to do this? Or shouldn't you have done that? Or you could have just done that. Yes, I could have, but that's for you. You do it that way. You try it. I am simply giving you inspiration so that you can then go back and do it your own way. This is all about inspiring you to create, um, put certain pieces together, style, fashion. Yeah, so sure, I could have done some other things. I could have used tie interfacing in here. I did not because I just didn't. I felt like the denim was heavy enough that I didn't need that. Um, I could have used a different kind of necklace, but I chose to use this one because that's the one that matched with my gold accessories. Um, and you know, there are other things that I could have used in the way I made the tie. So if you have those ideas, then go to your sewing machine and whip something up and please share them with me. I know we can't share them over on this platform, but you guys can always come over to my Instagram inbox and you can show me the stuff that you've made. I had a um, one of my followers over on Instagram sent me a picture of a tie that she folded and put together like I did over on my page and it was so exciting. So I want you guys to make these things and, you know, be creative and add stuff to it and just all of that. Um, I think it's great. All right. So let's jump into this tutorial and then I'm going to show you how I style the tie in the end, um, basically the way I'm wearing it right now. Uh, but I did try out a few others and I'll show those to you at the end. All right, see you when we're done. All right, for this project, I am using one pants leg of a leftover pair of denim jeans. 
a tie that had the shape of the tie that I desired and some leftover scraps from another pair of jeans. They don't have to be the same color unless you absolutely want them to be the same color. Now I used the tie, I pinned it down and I cut around it. Obviously the pants leg is not long enough to support the entire tie. So I had to use the rest of the pants leg to cut the remaining part of the tie, which I refer to as the tail of the tie. Now remember these fabrics are doubled. Okay. So you're going to have, um, a front and a back and a front and a back for the larger portion of the tie, the front part that hangs down and then the tail, you're going to also have it. So make sure you will likely end up with four pieces because I'm sure you're not going to be able to find a pants leg that will support the entire length of a tie. If you do, I would like to see that. <laughs> okay. So you see, I have two pieces here. So I'm going to take one piece, the top piece, and I'm going to embellish it with leftover scraps. That could be a pocket, a button, miscellaneous scraps, front, a back pocket, front pocket, a zipper, however you want to do it, but make sure that you keep the embellishments towards the bottom portion of the tie, the larger part of the tie where it kind of opens up a little bit. You don't want to go up too far because that will impact where you're able to tie it. Now, if you plan on wearing this like a regular necktie and just knotting it, then you probably have a little more leeway. But if you're thinking about maybe you know, tying it into a bow, folding it over, maybe adding a brooch or whatever, you want to make sure that you keep your embellishments towards the larger portion, the bottom of the tie. So you see where I'm trimming off the excess here. I flipped it over so I could turn and see where, you know, where it was laying over a little bit too much. And then I pinned it, flipped it over and I just trimmed it so that it would match up correctly. I also thought about adding something on the tail, but then I changed my mind because I was like, Jen, you need to slow down. You're putting too much on this tie and it's just, it's just too much. So if you notice here, I laid the top piece on top of the bottom piece with wrong sides together. That's really important. You are sandwiching these together. You are not putting right sides together and then turning it inside out. That is not this tie. Maybe later but not on this one. So just want to make sure that you see that. And then we're going to go on over to the sewing machine. All right. So now we are at the sewing machine. I've already pinned down my pieces and I'm still kind of thinking like, do I want to add, you know, belt loops? Do I want to add a zipper? Do, you know, I just have so many things and I had to just say, okay, Jen, we are not going to go maximalist on this tie. We're going to Keep it simple, straight and forward and not try to do the most because I will be, y'all, I will have so much stuff hanging off this tie. You'll be like, okay, Jen, really? You see how I was about to put a pocket on here? I think I did put a little portion of the pocket on there at the end. But anyway, um, I go ahead and I start stitching down the different pieces that I've added. Now I am not doing this right size together, turning this tie inside out. We will do that later. For this tie, I am doing a very unfinished edge. I am adding pieces in that I like because I want a certain kind of aesthetic on this tie, but I am not going to try to piece the front and back and then turn them inside out. It's just, it's just too much. And we will, we'll do another tie upcycle to give you some more ideas later. But right now we're just putting these bad boys back to back and calling it a day. Okay. So here's when I was like, all right, Jen, you gotta, you gotta slow down and not put so much stuff on this tie. So I ended up only doing a couple of belt loops, um, a little bit of a pocket and a little bit of a, a little bit of a back pocket and a little bit of a front pocket. And I think that was sufficient. I really thought this was cute. I love the way it turned out and I felt like it wasn't too over the top. It was just enough that when you look at it, you know, Oh, that's a pocket. Oh, 
that's a belt loop. Oh, okay. That's really cute. I know you guys will come up with some amazing, amazing ideas. All right. So now I am attaching the rest, the remaining part of the tie. And I tried to make it a little bit longer, but I could have made it a little bit longer. So I'm just attaching them. I did a very small hem, like a fourth of an inch hem, pressed the seams open just so that it lays flat. And I did that on both sides. And now I'm going to just sandwich the two pieces of tie together and we're gonna just stitch around it. I will mention that after I sew the two pieces together, I went over to my serger and I had blue thread in there and I started to serge the tie all the way around and you guys, I did not like it. Now, this might be a preference for some of you, but I personally liked the frayed edges. When I started looking at this serge edge, I was like, nope. I don't like it it makes it look too neat so I took all those stitches out next thing you want to do is give the tie a good press you see how much steam I'm using just press it nice and flat and you are pretty much done all right you guys so uh, just in these last few clips you'll see how I styled the tie um, I used um, a vintage bustier that I had thrifted some time ago as well as a bustier that I created myself over on the right and the white shirt I think really sets it off really allows the tie to pop paired it with my upcycled denim skirt that either comes after this video or right before um, I also paired this with my um, distressed denim jeans because I thought that those look really cute and then I threw on top my tie skirt that I made a couple years ago um, I think all of these mix and matches go together I also um, put the tie with a long denim skirt that I thrifted I'm sorry that I upcycled some time ago as well so you really have a lot of options when it comes to this tie um, I will show you in another video just how to kind of tie it and fold it and just the different ways that I do it um, my ways probably a little different than some ways that you've seen online I know there are a lot of folks doing it out there um, You've got um, Benjula um, on IG, there's Ties by Lois, uh, there's a bunch of folks on Pinterest doing them, and um, so lots of ideas out there. So I will share in a separate video, um, check out my YouTube shorts for some examples as well. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little denim <laughs> upcycle tie video and leave me some comments below. Let me tell you what, tell me what you think about it and let me know if you're going to try it and then hop on over to my Instagram. And if you try it, take a picture and send it to me. I would love to share it. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.